Ant-Man and the Wasps, another trailer is released and this looks promising. Now Marvel releases the first trailer, second trailer, teaser trailer, trailer for teaser, teaser for trailer, teaser for the teaser and a bunch of them. I guess I'm excited. Now the first trailer they released on SDCC and later on the Marvel channel, I was not excited. Now that trailer felt kind of a drab, but this trailer does have pretty interesting stuff. Now from the trailer I can say that. Cassie Lang is going to do some experimentation and due to some accident they are gonna end up in the quantum realm and in quantum realm Ant-Man is going to make a deal with Kang so that he could get his five years back the time he wasted or lost in between Infinity War and Endgame and that is how the movie is basically going to structure in the first half and there would be some revelations and plot twists and towards the end we'll know Kang is going to betray him and that is also shown in the so I'm pretty sure there are some other stuff that is not yet spoiled in the trailers so I'm excited now, if you have read the comic books and you are a fan of the comics you know that Kang the Conqueror does have an intriguing storyline and for those who have not read the comics well it's not going to be like No Way Home where the movie is going to run only based off cameos so hopefully this movie could pull off without any cameos because I'm pretty sure Kang is not there for cameo he's a real villain because he already cameoed in Loki if you are watching this video so far why not hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because we are very close to 500 subscribers yeah, you heard it right. It's not 500k or million. It's just 500. So yeah, do it. Moving on. Now, I was not at all interested about this movie before all the trailers and such because Ant-Man 1 was just an okay movie and Ant-Man 2 was, well, it was a best movie. So when they said they are going to make another movie about those two characters, I was like, yeah, okay, if it's good, I will watch it. If not, I will not watch it. But after watching the first trailer, I was like, not primarily going to watch it. But the second trailer does promising as I have said hundred times already in this video that I'm excited the phase 4 offense you was kind of a letdown well it was a letdown and moving forward I was not at all excited but now in phase 5 I'm excited for at least Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and Ant-Man and Wasp the first trailer didn't do it for me but the second trailer does look promising so let me know if you are excited or not because I do really want to know your reaction after watching the trailer and in turn increase my engagement and maybe I'll get more views. Anyway, subscribe.